All right, citizens one and all, welcome back. I'm here with my buddy Marcus. How's it going, Marcus? Good, Ginger. How you doing tonight? Pretty good, man. So, a couple of things have happened since we last talked about Ashes. The biggest being they did release part of the NDA today. What they did was release the verbal portion of the NDA, which in essence translates to you can talk or type about your experiences within Ashes of Creation in the current state of Alpha that it's in. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to jump right in. We did not get to play that much. We played this past weekend. We both just bought in, so this is very new for us. Very culture shock. I guess the two of us, we played probably four or five hours on Sunday, Marcus, and that was the the, the bulk of our experience, right? Yeah, I, I think uh, not counting that little bit of server downtime. Um, yeah, I'd say we played a solid four and a half hours, yeah. Yeah, and I loved it. There were two other days that it was ongoing, but it seemed that they had some up and down issues with different servers, different things like that. And I was out of town camping with the family, which was great. But the experience I did have overall, nothing outright negative to say, a lot of criticism, a lot of critiquing things that I would love to see done, things that I would love to see a little more solidified. But overall, the experience was very good. The state of the game in, in pre-alpha one, in essence, uh, is very well put together. They're, they're working on a lot of base level systems, the node system, leveling, PvP, world bosses, dungeons, which I did, we didn't get to experience a lot of this stuff. Um, since it was the third day, the coolest thing to happen was Steven did max level everybody on, on the server, so we, we were able to run out around us level 15, and that was pretty cool to see all the skills that we had. I played a mage, and that's another great point to talk about. There are three classes available currently within the alpha that would be mage, tank, and cleric, right, Marcus? I think? Yeah, we, you did the cleric, I did the tank, and I, we have not tried the cleric yet, which is more the yeah, healing role, if I yeah. remember. Yeah, I, I did mage. You said cleric, but no, all good. Um, so we got to mess with a bunch of skills that were in the game right now. I'm looking at those now on the mage page. So I had black hole, blink, and you you like the blink one pretty cool. And the neat part about blink is rank three does do damage. So I was just blinking into enemies and they were they were dropping dead. It was pretty cool. So then drain essence, fireball, gift of the magi, and I used that on you a few times, Marcus. Uh, that sent mana to you if you were low on mana as a as a tank during the fight, which is pretty neat. Lava storm, lightning bolt, meteor storm, and prismatic beam. So this is all that's in the game right now as far as skills goes, which is pretty cool. Prismatic Beam, probably my favorite. Meteor Storm, not terrible either. But I mainly used Fireball, and then would cast with my wand. You can just cast your wand infinitely. You just, for me, I pressed the Q button, and it just threw little magic missile-type little things at the enemy. It was very cool. And let me see. You said tank for you, Marcus, so you got to unlock all these skills as well. And you have some aggro-based skills, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I think there was... Actually, it seemed like half of them, but it might have only been three that actually generated a uh, threat. And you were using that javelin skill quite a bit, too, weren't you? Um, actually, I take that back. Uh, if you if you look it over, there's like all, all but like one or two generate threat. Yeah, uh, it's called javelin. It pulled the target. It was almost... It reminded me kind of of like, say, like a scorpion in Mortal Kombat. It's like a chain runs out, pulls that mob right Yeah, out. yeah. It, it was very cool. So we're going to jump topics greatly here. So for us, it was it was very crash coursey. Like this was our first day ever really playing the alpha. I, w I wouldn't say we were lost, but it was very much like a culture shock. But what, what would you say, Marcus? There's just so much going on. Yeah, not knowing how these new systems work, it's, you know, it's it's very MMO-ish, but it's not a traditional MMO, so we didn't understand how to go and try to uh, build up a town or, or uh, a city, we didn't understand, you know, uh, we did a couple of the basic first, you know, level uh, quests, but that was uh, about all we got to do, plus run around the world a little bit, and it looks, yeah. I gotta say, it looks beautiful, the graphics look excellent. I'm going to jump topics greatly because we're running on a timeline. We're going to try and keep these short, but I think we're going to get two or three of these videos done. So y'all stay with us if you made it this far. But let's jump to that treasure hunting that we did, Marcus. And we didn't get to finish it. But what we did do was we found a crashed out ship with a, just a dead guy on it. 
and he had a journal. The journal talked, they gave a little backstory, and at the end it said, take this key on the journal and go down the shoreline and find this chest. And, and so we, we did that. We both picked up the quest. We went down the shoreline. We found the first chest. Then we had to cut back down the other way. And there was this, just this, like, like, the draw distance in this game is amazing. So we come upon these cliffs. And at the top of these cliffs is this old tree with this giant root system. We get to go under that. There's another chest down there. And that led us even further down this zone. And we're way up at the top of the map. We're at like the edge now, or near the edge of where like the um, the alpha map allows us to go. And we couldn't find the third chest. And then I pressed the wrong button. I accidentally I teleported across the map by accident. This is an unstick feature that we were able to use. But I think that that last chest would have been the treasure. But what did you think of that experience, Marcus, as far as like just like the go from one place to the next and find that treasure? We had a lot of fun doing it. I wish we could have finished it, but it was uh, getting close to them shutting the servers down. We didn't want to uh, spend the rest of the time not finding the last piece of that. I think it was the last piece of it, but I feel I like it maybe it. was. It was a lot of fun. And then it also says here treasures may also be obtained through fishing and by exploring naval content. So that's cool. So, so what we experienced as a whole, and I'm going to go back to the main page here. I don't have really anything cool to play in the background, so I'm just we're looking at the wiki out of out of just having, having to have something on the screen, pretty much. So, for me, I think I'm going to like a lot of the this this stuff that's in play already, like the treasure hunting. Uh, we played a little bit with sk skills, or not skills, but like um like gathering and stuff, Marcus. But we'll talk about that in part two. We'll start with gathering in part two. For me, I think the most fun I had was kind of just the initial exploration. There, the, uh, the one thing I'll touch on that I hope they improve upon, and we're going to wrap it up, is I, I really hope they drive like new players and new alpha players like myself and Marcus. They, they need to drive us towards objectives and, and, and things that we need to do a little more than they do now. I'm going to say it again. I'm a broken record at this point, but the culture shock of the game is huge. We're coming into a game that's had a lot of players playing it in this NDA alpha for two and three years now. So for us for us new players to come in and compete with them, maybe even potentially make a guild of our own, that's something that I like to do with the Ginger Empire. We normally will, will establish ourselves in these games, have, have a guild or a group that everybody plays in that likes to watch the stream and hang out with us. So that, that's our main drive is to do all that, and it's definitely going to be pretty intense to try and do that with... All these players that have been here for years already. So there's a lot to learn. It's, it's very intense, but I'm I'm excited for it. But what do you think, Marcus? Last thoughts? Uh, last thoughts. There was the one real cool uh, uh, thing that happened where Steven brought everybody on the server to fight a dragon. Oh, yeah, that was cool. And we're going to touch on that in part two. We're going to wrap it up here, ladies and gentlemen. This was just, again, Marcus and I barely had any play time. We're sitting at about five hours each. And this is just basic initial impressions. We're very excited to see more. We can't wait to explore and understand more. But I just want to start talking about it, get the word out. Very excited to see where it goes. But y'all take care and have a great night.